welcome to How to Play Ken Ken. I'm going to teach you the simplest way on how to do it right now in a really beginner puzzle and then look for my other videos which are more complex. So what you're looking at is a four by four Ken Ken board. And what you're going to do is you're going to need to get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, obviously not repeating a number in the same row or anything. Um, and what you see is it's sort of outlined in boxes. You see this eight plus, this means that this plus this plus this have to equal eight. This plus this plus this plus this have to equal eight. These are nine, et cetera, et cetera. Now I'm gonna take a quick step back before I teach you on how to solve this beginner puzzle. Just so you can see that your choices are three by three, four by four, five by five, all the way up to nine by nine, which is really um, a, a complex puzzle. You can have just addition only, which is what this puzzle is, so I can teach you, but you can also have uh, subtraction, division, multiplication, um, which if you think about it, can make these puzzles really challenging. So just for the teaching you, I've picked a four by four, by four adding only medium. So the first thing you want to do is you want to find if there's any that are just singles. Like, for example, this. This is a give me. They're basically saying that's the three. So we'll put a three in there. Now, that means there's no three here and there's no three there. And what we're looking for is other types of clues we can have. So let's go to this one. This one is a five. And knowing that our choices are only one, two, three, and four, there's two ways to make five, which is two plus three and four or four plus one. And since we already have a three in this row, we know that this has to be, one of these has to be four and one of these has to be one. And since we know one of these is four and one of these is one, and that's three, we also can deduce that two must go here, okay? Now, we also can look at this down here and go seven. So whatever two numbers in these two have to equal seven. Well, between one, two, three, and four, only two of those numbers when added together equal seven. And that's obviously three plus four. So one of these is three and one of these is four. We don't know which, but we know this is two. Then we know that has to be a one. Now this here, this L-shaped thing is a six plus, meaning add them all together and you'll get six. So two plus one, is three, and what's gonna make six? Well, another three. What you're looking for is logical steps on how to get what you want. So let's go here. Let's go to this four plus. Now, it, the only way to get four is by, at this point, three plus one. You cannot, even though two plus two works, you, you can't have two in the same row or the same column. You can have, by the way, two if it's if this was two and this was two. They're not in the same row and column, but they are still part of the same equation. So because we know that this has to be a three plus a one, and we now know that that's the three, therefore a three can't be here, that has to be the one, and to make four, that has to be the three. Now that's already starting to tell us something, because if we know that these are three plus four, and we know that that's a three, therefore that can't be the three. The three must be here which makes the four here. So now that we know that's a one, that's a three, that's a four, in this column, only one possible answer can be, which is two, because you have to have a different number, one, two, three, four, in every column. And now we're starting to make some movement. We know a two is here, and we know that a one and a four are the remaining ones to make seven, and a one can't be here, so that has to be the one which means that has to be the four. Four plus one plus two is seven. And now this becomes fairly simple to start finishing. One, three, and four, we're missing a two in this column, therefore a two has to go there. Figure out if this is a four plus one and this is a five and that one is there, then the one can't be here. So the one has to be there and thus a four has to be here. And then one, two, three, we have no choice but to put a four here. And if you think about it, four, plus two is six, you need to get to eight, and it's missing a two, and there's a two, you put it in. We did it.